It involves 1996 Olympic bronze medalist Floyd Mayweather Jr., 14-0 since turning pro. Here's a look at one of boxing's rising stars who certainly lives up to the name Pretty Boy. He's trained by his father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., who has shown him an awful lot of tricks, and I think it might be safe to say that not only has he learned a lot in the ring, he's learned a lot that could fall into the family tricks category. I always know him as little Floyd. That's my son. I'm big Floyd. There you go. He don't like me to call him I don't little like Floyd. He don't like it at all. Beautiful little Floyd. Nice shot this side. Nice shot this side. There you go. So he can't be nothing but little Floyd, however you want to look at it. I'm big Floyd, little Floyd. Don't call me that. Little Floyd would prefer you call him Pretty Boy Floyd. The Olympic bronze medalist from 96 is now reunited with his father, a former welterweight contender who once faced Sugar Ray Leonard. But living large in the world of boxing caught up with Big Floyd. He was busted for drug trafficking and served five and a half years in prison. Now he's back as father, friend, and full-time trainer. That's it. That's what I want. This year, ran out of gas. There ain't no filling station around. I know a lot of people want to see me and my father break up. That's what people want to see. They want to see us break up, but it ain't going to happen. You know, no matter what, because I know he's the best thing for me. And I know I got this far by all his teachings. Dig the body, take the gas out of him, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm glad he's back in my life. For I need somebody who's on my back. And when he's riding, that one makes me a winner. That's it. <laughs> That's nice, little Floyd inside. Come on. <laughs> Floyd Sr. is back in his life, and this is how we called it earlier. Floyd Mayweather, 1996 Olympic bronze medalist. Trying to size him up, realizing that he's got a strong opponent in the ring, if not one who has had an awful lot of activity in the past year. Gosh, you picked up something in that first round when you said that uh, Melo looked like an experienced fighter. You have to remember that supposedly he's had over 200 amateur fights. So he's showing a lot of courage, exchanging with Mayweather. And Mayweather getting the best of the exchanges. A flurry of punches, but again, Melo's showing some strength as he comes back, not landing nearly as many, but with power. Well, the reason why uh, Melo's staying in there with Mayweather is because uh, of the 200 fights he had in, in his amateur career. He, uh, he feels the confidence. He knows uh, he's been up against uh, uh, world-class opposition, and um, I feel that he can, uh, he can stay in there with Mayweather and exchange punches. Love coming from the right nostril of Miguel Melo, courtesy of the tags, the quick tags, by Floyd Mayweather, and Oscar mentioned the amateur record of Miguel Bello, 204 in the amateur ranks. Not nearly as much clowning around by Melo in this round. Well, now he knows that uh, Mayweather's in there uh, very serious. He, uh, he's taking his time. He's, he's, I think, trying to look for that one-punch knockout, which is not a... Not a wise move uh, for, uh, for an upcoming fighter. He has to just uh, fight his own fight, try to use combinations, and if the knockout comes, it comes. Second right solid. Knockdown, knockdown. Landed four. by Floyd Mayweather, flush on the face of Three. Miguel Bello, who is looking four. as if, what in the world are you talking about? But he caught Six. that one flush Seven. on the face from Floyd Eight. Mayweather. Matty. Okay, has a little abrasion on the left, left side of his head. Good left hook by Mello. Caught him flush as well. He and there fainted. Nice. Before Boy, Mayweather. Nice. He there fainted with a right hand and came back with a left hook that uh, caught Mayweather by surprise. Indeed, why you can't take anyone lightly. Well, again, Oscar, we may be getting some questions answered about whether Mayweather can really take a punch. Well, there has been so many cases where uh, up-and-coming fighters um, who have all the experience in the world, who have all the confidence in the world, they try to uh, take these guys lightly because they have uh, uh, um, eight fights and, and two defeats or whatever it is, whatever the case is. Uh, they try to take the guy lightly, and uh, then come fight night, that opponent surprises them. So now I think uh, Mayweather right here is, uh, is, uh, has his hands full, and he knows that he's in there with a, with a good fighter. No doubt about that. Blood drawn from Mayweather as well. So so both fighters bleeding from the nose. Mayweather got a fight on his hands. Boy, boy. When you're renting a car, yep. how you feeling now? And certainly Floyd Mayweather knows he's in for about to Gill. He he took some wicked punches in that second round. So, let's take a look at that knockdown by Mayweather. 
And it was a right. James, you were wrong Ooh. again. <laughs> right into the ribs. <laughs> Get out of there early. Get him out, Inspector. Time in. Well, he had caught him flush with a couple of rights to the face first before he delivered the one to the ribs. But Mayweather knows he's got somebody in there who at least is standing up to him macho-wise. I think so these fighters here who are experienced, who have, uh, um, I guess, uh, he's older than Mayweather. He has more experience. And I feel that uh, he's taking uh, Mayweather as a... As a unexperienced fighter he knows that he can uh, maybe overpower Mayweather and he's very confident at this point inside that ring well the one thing the fight has been very very fast paced fight and I think that's going to be the Mayweather's advantage because we know that he's in excellent condition and Melo took the fight on two weeks notice so he made the Mayweather has been quite effective with right hands to the face of Melo and Melo has been intent trying to get to the body as well He's dangerous while he's in there, Mello. He's really winging. What I sense from Mayweather is that he's uh, a bit anxious. Anxious to, uh, to take this guy out in the first rounds. And I should, I feel he should just take his time, take his time, and the, the, the win will come, naturally. Slugfest in tight by both. Ice up and cut by Mayweather. To the body. That left hook to the body's push been off, push Mayweather's off. best punch for the entire fight. That should take something out of Mello. Good left hook by Mello again. Mayweather working on the body. Something that his father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., said he was trying to get his son to do more of. Working to the body in time. Hey, go punch. Push off, push off, Floyd. Well, I'll tell you, for a year of inactivity, not bad stamina, at least thus far, being displayed by Mello. Oscar, do you notice the lack of jabs by both fighters? They're both throwing Sunday punches just well, about every punch. They're both leaving themselves wide open. They're going for the body, but they're leaving themselves wide open. If there's a fighter uh, who steps it up and, is, and, and just plays it smart, he would throw the jab, he would throw the jab, and score points all night. So you like to see a lot more patience being displayed by Mayweather? Well, I think so. And the patience there paid off. As Four, Mayweather has dropped five, Mello a second time. Six. Big left hook seven, down on the button. Eight, eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Mello has indicated he wants to know more as Floyd Mayweather takes care of him in the third round. But I tell you, I got to believe that Mayweather knew that he was in for a fight this evening. He was in for a fight, and Mello gave him a, a good match. I mean, uh, this kid Mello is, uh, is strong. He, uh, he was very confident, but... Uh, Mayweather, uh, the, the great fighter that he is, the upcoming star that he is, um, is going to do very well, and he did great tonight. Any any questions answered from either of you in terms of Mayweather's ability to take some punches? Well, he took some pretty good raps tonight. I mean, he's doing the strong, mature guy in there. Showed a lot of physical strength. He showed me a lot tonight, Mayweather. But he does get hit. Gets hit a little more than I thought he would get hit. If, as Oscar said, he would have used his jab, he would have been better off. As we take a look at the knockdown, that pretty much ended it. For Mello. Well, it was a combination of different punches. It was not just one punch, but uh, the accumulation of all the hard punches that just dropped him and just wore him out. And again, Oscar, the patience being displayed that you said Mayweather should have shown early on, as opposed to going as opposed to going to that Sunday knockout punch. Flush on the chin. Now, I found it pretty interesting as well that in Miguel Melo's corner, his corner man doesn't speak any Spanish. Melo doesn't speak any English. I'm wondering how they communicated. <laughs> I believe that the, the, the ring rust, the ring rust, uh, I guess, uh, had a, got a toll or had a toll on his body because um, when you're inactive for about a year or more, then um, it affects you. It affects your performance. Even though you feel good inside the gym, you're training, it can affect you um, come fight night. All right, let's check in right now with Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Smoker calls a halt to this bout. The official time, two minutes, 30 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory. His record now 15 and 0, 13 KOs. He is pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. And we are...